Thank you. I would like to welcome this opportunity to address the World Health Assembly. We are in the midst of the most serious public health emergency our world has experienced in over 100 years. Containing the coronavirus pandemic has dwarfed all other issues facing the international community and individual countries. The pandemic has profound social, political, economic and security implications for all of us. It is impacting on human health, the economies of all affected countries, and the li livelihoods of millions of people. Although the virus has affected both developed and developing countries, it is the poor who suffer the most. The pandemic has highlighted the dangerous and growing inequality that exists between countries and within them. The healthcare systems of many countries are struggling to cope. Some have been weakened by underfunding and neglect. Others are under pressure because they were designed to serve the select few. The pandemic has devastated the livelihoods of millions of people in many countries. The global recovery depends on our ability to accept the reality that this virus will be with us for some time and that we need to prepare to adapt accordingly. The social distancing hygiene and other protocols recommended by the World Health Organization must become part of our everyday lives. Africa affirms its full support for the World Health Organization, which has been key in guiding the international response to the pandemic. The World Health Organization has been instrumental in providing guidance and support to African governments. Africa is extremely vulnerable to the ravages of this virus and needs every possible support and assistance. The African Union has taken very deliberate steps to respond to the scourge. The African Union has made a call for developing countries to be assisted in their efforts to combat the pandemic and to rebuild their economies. This assistance needs to include debt relief. It also needs to include assistance with regard to diagnostic and therapeutic medical supplies. To turn back the frontiers of the pandemic, we must also deepen international collaboration as well as solidarity around issues like research and development and investment. We fully support the initiative by the World Health Organization together with many other governments in assisting the developing countries. For its part, South Africa is participating in several research initiatives. We must ensure that there is equitable access to medical equipment, technologies in all respects. In this final decade towards the attainment of the Sustainable Development Goals, we must press ahead with our goal of making universal healthcare a reality for all the people of the world and no one must be left behind. The virus has demonstrated the essential value of universal health coverage, and this is where we need full solidarity. Let us continue to be bold and courageous in confronting this pandemic. Let us continue to collaborate and act in solidarity in the interest of the millions of people around the world. I thank you.